And I try not to eat at all until dinner. That gives my body this long window, uh, more than 20 hours of not having glucose circulating from the external world. Now, what happens when you do that, and it takes a few weeks for your body to adapt, is that your liver will learn how to compensate for lack of food. It's called gluconeogenesis, the generation of glucose from your liver. And it actually overcomes the feeling of hunger. When you first get breakfast and lunch, you're going to be hungry, but do it for at least two weeks because after the two week, especially by the three week mark, your liver has now learned that you're not going to have breakfast or lunch and it will start making glucose at a steady level. That's really important because it's known that if you have these spikes of glucose, it leads to hunger when it crashes after a big meal. I would skip one meal and then go for two. Yeah. You can't do the whole thing. You, most people will fail. I had to quit multiple times. <laughs> the trick is that you want to fill your body with fluids. For me, mm -hmm. constant coffee, tea, hot water, 